Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudio Mir here again. Let's talk today about the OnViv protocol and how you can use this software to find your cameras on the network. It's the free software here on my mobile phone. You can download and install, there's no cost. I have the link here in the description. So it's the OnVir. The oldest name for this one is OnVifer. I don't know why they changed the name, but they did. So as you can see, it's a simple software that you can use to find the cameras, the network, right? Remember, you need to have your device connected to the same router as the cameras. So I have my router using Wi-Fi. I connect my cell phone to the router and then I connect my camera to the router as well, right? I'm not using this one. This is just a demo camera that comes with the software. I will click here on this plus sign out. And here it's start finding the, the cameras in the network. You see, it found seven devices, right? I have different ways to find my cameras from Discover, OnViv device, generic RTSP, generic MJPEG, WinIP camera, and from demo. I'm gonna use this one from Discover. So when I click here, it shows my cameras in the network, right? And, and looking for more cameras available. So I have here, let's say the first one, it's a IPC-BO. I cannot see the name here, but I know that's a real link NVR. Here, my high vision, the name's here, high vision camera. Another real link, that's real link camera, real link camera again. Another real link, access camera, and even my printer, it says it's non onviv but it can find my printer. Pretty cool, right? So let's just click here on the high vision. And as you can see, it finds the camera's IP, the name, and I just need to input here the username and a password for OnViv. So let me just input the username and password here. So here you go, username and password, and then I just click here and set up and wait for the device to be discovered in the network. And here you go, test results. I have video stream success. As you can see, our DSP over HTTP is working. Uh, you get this message of retrieving snapshot failed, but it still works, right? Hit OK here. And as you can see, all the information about OnViv device, OnViv ports, RTSP port, and also something in interesting, the public IP for WAN. That's the IP that you find on your router, an external interface of your router. If you want to connect from the internet and see your camera, you can use this IP because it's a router IP, okay? Then you can do the port forwarding. There is another video here on the channel that explain about port forwarding, but that's not the topic of this video. So it's using OnViv here, it found the camera and I click here on save. Now I have my high vision camera. When I click here, it grabs the video from my camera, so it's working out here on my lab. Pretty good working, okay? So pretty simple. I'm just, you can also use PTC cameras if you have PTC cameras on network. Let me come back to the main screen. You can do this again. Let's say now from discovered, let's try here my access camera. Uh, I have an access camera, here we go, that's the one. Same thing, you can input here the username and password. Here I have username and password for the OnViv protocol, my access camera. This one is just for testing, so admin, admin, as username and password for testing. Click here on setup as well. Wait for it to grab the information from the camera. I noticed that it takes longer with access cameras compared to high visions, right? So. It's grabbing all the information, communicating with the camera, testing their TSP port and doing everything there. Then you can see here the results, right? Hit OK again and save. And now I have my access camera here connecting directly via our TSP. Here we go. I have my access camera here. As you can see, it's upside down. Okay, because when I use OnViv protocol and access camera, it, it comes upside down at first. I have another video here on the channel that explains why it comes upside down like this and how you can fix it, right? So something important as well is to take a look at your, the, the configuration of your cameras. So here, for example, in Oxys camera, you need to enable OnViv if it's, if it's not enabled. In this case, I come here to settings, system, and OnViv. And here I need to create an OnViv user. As you can see here, I have admin as the OnViv user to enable OnViv on this camera. So 
if you don't have an on with enable near camera, you need to do that. Otherwise, it, the software cannot find it, right? Same for high vision. It does not come with on with enable. You need to come here to the configuration menu and enable. Usually, it's here on network and you have advanced settings for a network and here integration protocol, you can find then on with and also create a username and password for the on with user, okay? And then it works. You can use just the software here and have your on with camera working here on your device, okay? And remember, this one is free. I have the link here in the description. You can download and install on your cell phone and use it, all right? And that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave a thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.